Good vibes only fam, Usus. Yo, what is up everyone? It is Mladen here, aka Maki. Welcome to today's video. I decided that I'm going to fill, film, fill. I decided I'm going to fill myself, but really, I'm going to be filming myself. Um, yeah, I'm doing the uh, updated habit tracker. I'm not, I don't know what the fuck is going on. Uh, forgive my... Um, what seems to be lack of enthusiasm, I'm excited. I'm, I believe me, I'm fucking amped up. Trust me, just, I need the coffee to kick in and uh, we'll be all good. Okay, what I was meant to say was, uh, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be covering the um, habit tracker, uh, my stats for the month of September that just passed. So now we're gonna get into it. Uh, I'm gonna be covering each of the columns, each of the habits, and then that way we can sort of cover through what where the stats are at and sort of we can dissect and break down exactly what had happened throughout the month. And yeah, we'll take it from there. We'll keep it as easy and, and simple as possible. So uh, come along and enjoy today's video. It's a little bit of a clean up, all nice and clean, people leave their garbage, just go put it in the bin. Easy. Chuck that in the bin as well. And that's it, that's how it's done. Yeah, like I was saying, don't be that person that just dumps rubbish. The bin was literally 40 metres away from where, that, where they littered. Let's put it in the bin, do everyone a favour, keep the place nice. Alright, um, yeah as I was saying, if, you, if you're dumping rubbish there, it's complete nonsense, go put it in the bin. Anyway, I just wanted to do a breakdown of um, sort of my walk at the moment. So what I like to do is split it up into two sections. The first half I will listen to an audiobook or some sort of informative content regarding topics that I'm currently researching. So today I listened to Jim Rohn talking about um, the 10 laws or the 10 must do's and I'll insert a clip right now. Here's the next one, self-confidence. Where does self-confidence come from? And this is the best advice I can give you on that. Not neglecting, first of all, the small daily discipline. Self-confidence really comes from feeling good about yourself. And one of the best ways to feel good about yourself is at the end of the day to know that you poured it on. You did your best. And yeah, and then the second half, I will listen to uh, Ben Boma or some like pretty chill house music or lo-fi, whatever the vibe feels like basically. So yeah, 
Um, I like to do walks for about 40, 45 minutes. So I'll do 20 minutes of education and then 20 minutes of just like me time. So yeah, that's a pro tip. Okay, great. Um, yeah, so this is essentially my habit tracker for 2021, September. So as you can see here below, I have quite a extensive amount of data tracing back all the way to August of 2020, but we'll focus on this month uh, for the time being. <laughs> Pardon me. And the main habits of focus for the month of September of 2021 were working out, reading 20 pages a day, doing the Wim Hof method or breath work, taking a cold shower, measuring my weight, the times I brushed my teeth, my protein intake, my sleeping, and reflection videos as well. So we'll, we'll focus on the workout. So you can see that it's, firstly, I'll just mention that the color system based on what we're seeing right now, green is good, red is bad, yellow means attempt was made um, and it is um, okay for the time being. So we can see in the uh, workout column in the month of September, um, I only missed one workout, which was on the 10th. Um, and on that day, from memory, I, if I move across, to my protein intake, it was probably, it was my lowest day um, of protein consumption. And now I do recall that this day I did a 24 hour fast. So from the night before, I believe I stopped eating at approximately 9.30 PM on the 9th. And then I didn't eat until the, the following day uh, in the evening at around nine o'clock as well. And I had one big meal. So I, I must have consumed like two to 300 grams of chicken breast, rice, and, uh, and a bloody huge salad. So um, I like to do this once. Uh, I, I wanna say I wanna do this once every couple of um, weeks, but I, I can only see that this month I've only done it once, but that's okay. Um, so workouts I'm happy with. I've done a combined total of 29 workouts. If I move into the next column, I can see that we are reading 20 pages a day. <laughs> I believe that that is a good amount. And as you would have seen earlier on in the video, um, after my uh, breath work and meditation, visualizing and affirmations, I do a little bit of reading and I read a couple of pages from two different books. Um, and when I do that, I accrue anywhere between, you know, eight to 12 pages. So around 10 pages on average. So right there, I've split half of my reading first thing in the morning. So I don't get hit with, you know, having to read 20 or so pages at once. So it's key to split things up. Um, and yeah, you know, a couple days I hit over 20, um, sometimes even over 30, almost even 40, um, couple days below 20, couple days below 10. Um, and then I had one day that I did not read at all. So um, this is a combined total of 564 pages. I wanna say this is equivalent to about two books of, you know, books that go around 250 to 300 pages. So I read about two books worth um, this month. Happy with that. There's consistency um, and repetition being involved. This is what we are looking for in the habit tracker. Um, now moving on to the uh, Wim Hof method and breath work column. So I like to mix it up. Some days I'll do the Wim Hof method. For those of you who do not know, it's essentially uh, doing box breathing where you do this. for a period of 30 repetitions, and then you will exhale on the last one and hold your breath for as long as you can. And then you'll take a big breath of air, hold for about 15 to 20 seconds, tense your body, um, and then you let go. So 
in that process you oxygenate your body your lung function expands tremendously um, and there is a plethora of benefits um, to the Wim Hof method now there is also breath work on the days where I don't want to do the Wim Hof method and I just want to be able to relax Zen focus on breathing um, then I will do the breath work as you've seen earlier on today that is what I did um, I will do a round of um, I do the 4x4x4x4 four by four by four by four, which is 4 seconds inhale, 4 seconds hold, 4 seconds exhale, 4 seconds hold and I will repeat that for a period of 4 minutes. Some days I will go up as up to, to about 12 minutes. It all depends on how I feel, am I feeling sluggish, do I feel like I need a little bit more concentration and also in the process of doing breath work whether Wim Hof or the 4444 method you are stimulating your vagus nerve and that is um, huge because the vagus nerve is responsible for a lot of bodily functions um, such as bladder control, lung function, uh, breathing. Uh, it helps send signals from the brain to the gut and vice versa and essentially anytime you are currently stressed then the, that vagus nerve uh, which starts from the brain down the face through the neck all the way down to the lower abdomen It does send signals uh, which does cause inflammation throughout the body and if we know anything about inflammation It does create create dis-ease and uh, disorder within um, Our physiology, so we sort of want to return back to homeostasis essentially being balanced and uh, this is a, a one of my secret weapons I will tell you that and um, I've been doing some forms of breath work, Wim Hof method or meditation uh, quite often for a number of years, but I believe that this year I have dialed in breath work um, and Wim Hof method to a system where it works very efficiently for myself and I've seen tremendous results with my mental health, my body, um, physical recovery from you know hit workouts or a push-pull leg split, um, and yeah. Moving on to the next tab, we have cold showers. So again, uh, both of these columns I fulfilled um, consistency and repetition. So in both columns, we do have 30 here. Cold showers, again, uh, it's at this point, it is a no brainer. However, if you're not aware of what cold showers can do for you, just Google cold shower benefits. It helps tremendously with your skin, um, your nails, uh, your respiratory system because it forces you to inhale heavily um, and the shock that it does to your system as well um, it resets your nervous system and just again a plethora of benefits so you know it, it doesn't take long you all you need to do is a cold shower for 30 to you know 60 seconds at the end of your warm shower um, I tend to sometimes do that but I will end my showers with anywhere between two to three minutes so I can completely feel cold and electrified and you come out of the shower um, feeling oh, it's phenomenal it's a bloody phenomenal feeling and uh, anyway moving forward my weight I only started tracking my weight as of this month if I'm not mistaken if I go back last month yeah so last month I removed I replaced the smoking column because I quit smoking for over now 13 months um, so I decided it was time to replace that column with my weight. So now I've been keeping track of my weight and uh, my goal was to maintain at around 75 kilos and at the bottom of this column we can see that there was an average of 75.85 kilos throughout the month of September. Happy with that. I'm gonna, I, I tend to follow a 80-20 rule or a 90-10 rule where I 80% good, 20% freedom. Um, and it does tend to work a lot. I've experimented with a lot of uh, fruits as of recently for my micronutrients. Um, also entertained the idea of salmon, wild caught salmon. Um, I hated salmon, but I thought I'd give it a go. And you know what? I, it is a taste that is a little bit weird at start. But again, you know, you you can adjust your palate and adjust your tasting. Um, and you can learn to like it. So I, I now have it in my diet um, either once to twice a week and absolutely love it. Uh, brushing my teeth as per normal. I've got braces. As you can see, teeth are 
straightening up, and they are improving quite heavily. Had you had seen me um, just over two years ago, you would have been like, this dude be overweight and buckled teeth. So now I've learned to sort of love myself. Um, I believe that any part of your body you do not love, learn to love it or do something about to increase that self-love. So yeah, brush my teeth twice a day um, and we have a repetition at the end of the month of 60 reps. So moving forward, protein intake, going again into um, piggybacking off the weight and the whole nutrition aspect of things. My goal protein intake was at 140 grams of protein per day. It's been a little bit sporadic, I'm not going to lie. Um, but the, again, I, I have relatively remained around over uh, or around 140, give or take a couple of days where it has been 130, 125, 115. Um, some days I just go by feeling and if my if I feel that like my stomach is a little bit inflamed or clogged up or I'll, truth be told if my bowel movements aren't the best I will be a little bit more mindful with that approach um, this comes from experience of having hemorrhoids twice one of which I required uh, medical I was sent to the emergency room for medical surgery and I learned a lot about um, throughout that recovery process and, and, and promised myself that you know I, I would never force I'll never put a lot of stress on my body like that ever again. Um, so yeah, you know, clean foods, lots of waters, um, liquids. I behind the camera, I have three bottles of water. I got a bottle of water behind me, so I relatively drink about two to two point five liters of water per day. I supplement quite well. I one of which I've got my vitamin C um, tablet or supplement. I've got vitamin B. Uh, sorry, vitamin D over here, 5,000 um, IUs. Folic acid, B12, zinc, turmeric with black pepper, and magnesium, and omega-3. So I don't have it consistently every day. I have it when I feel like I'm deficient in one of those areas. So yeah, that's that in a nutshell. Uh, a average total of 138.55 grams of protein intake throughout the month. The goal was 140, so I'm just a little bit shy off, but that's okay, and we move. My sleeping. Um, sleeping has been something relatively important as of recently. I've been putting a lot of emphasis and respect on sleeping, and um, yeah, my goal was to sleep a minimum of seven hours a night. In the yellows, you will see uh, a couple that are below seven, between six to seven hours. I believe I've categorized that as yellow and anything below six hours or anything below 6.6 6 and a half hours, I should say, um, falls into a red category. So happy with this average intake of sleep was seven hours and 26 minutes throughout the month and reflection videos. At the end of each day, what I like to do is reflect for a couple of minutes and talk about my day, three things that I was grateful for. And I've been documenting this whole process of been, what's been happening, my my train of thought, you know, my mental well-being, my physical well-being, literally anything um, that happens on that day. And I have found it to be quite therapeutic. And I'm not going to lie, this, this has been a huge advantage because through self-reflection, you boost productivity and you boost your self-awareness and your self-reliance. So all of these things in conjunction through for, for the reflection video, I, I believe it's been uh, an absolute staple and pillar throughout my personal development and transformation. And this is something that I have encouraged my clients to, to focus on. Um, and the reason why is because firstly, we don't film ourselves. Uh, ourselves. Um, and the reason because we don't do it and that's okay but if we do decide to do it we may come across as a little bit awkward and you know what I've been there I bought my first GoPro in 2014 or 2015 and yeah I started filming travel vlogs then throughout Bali um, and Indonesia all throughout Thailand um, Vietnam and basically all, all across Southeast Asia and I learned throughout that process of 
how I look, how I talk, how I perceive myself. Do I... I noticed that I was arming and eyeing a lot, so I try to make an effort into reducing that. And that all that all this stuff, right, that you do in private shows in the real world afterwards. And that there is it's phenomenal because what honestly what you do in private, no one sees it. On this occasion I, I'm I've invited you into this space to see exactly the benefits of using a habit tracker. So this is where we can entertain the idea of what I do in private and I'm open to sharing this with you guys because I know there will be at least one person that benefits um, from this. So yeah, that's that in a nutshell. Um, I filmed over 25, uh, sorry, 25 reflection videos in, in the last month. And the great thing is, right, at the end of each month, I do a phone dump from this phone onto my computer and I review the things that happen throughout the month. And I'll tell you what, uh, I'm, I'm amazed with the information that I've captured and th there's been moments of gratitude, inspiration, hardship, um, difficulties, uh, overcoming challenges and obstacles. I would not know any of this if had I not recorded this. Now you can do this through a journal, you can do this through your notes on your phone, that's great and all, that is at least something, but when you have video of yourself talking in that moment, in that space, in that time, you can pull that up, you know, from your archive, 5, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years from now, fuck, generations from now, you will be that person, the grandmother or grandfather or the great, great, great grandparent that has captured some reflection and, you know, your great 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 grandkids down you know generations down the track they're able to view this and be like holy shit like shout out to great 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 grandfather or grandmother because there is now history being passed on if we look at history like going back to hieroglyphics and egyptian history and stuff like that we see that there was generational messages passed on um, through the uh, scriptures and writings and paintings and stuff like that and throughout all other cultures as well um, you know so this is just that in a different form in this evolution so yeah I wouldn't be surprised if one day where we do do film this and you are able to electronically connect some sort of sensor into you where where you are recording, it also interprets the feeling, the emotion, the chemical reaction that you're currently going through. So right now, me talking about this, I'm very lively, I'm very enthusiastic, I'm very inspired. And that can be seen, but now, if in the future, that actually might be felt when you view it. And you know, it might be like a Bluetooth connection to a sensor on the body. I don't know why I'm pointing to my elbow, fucking oos. <laughs> um, but, yeah, uh, I'm thinking way too far ahead, and you know what, that's okay, because I give myself permission to do shit like this in, in, in private, I, I can be whoever I want, develop myself into the person, you know, I'm destined to be, so, yeah, these are some benefits of having a habit tracker, guys, um, I really do appreciate your time, and please consider liking, subscribing, and commenting your favorite part of this video was there any other habits that you guys are going to be looking to do as well in the near future um, if you guys are looking for assistance with building your own habit tracker there will be a fucking thing in the corner click on it it's a free tutorial and I cover a step-by-step -step process where you can follow along and create your own habit tracker based on the habits that you want to create and measure and manage and evolve in the future um, if you do want to uh, explore further assistance and services, I do currently run a personal productivity consulting business in my spare time. And uh, in this, we cover Habit Tracker. This is one of the staple pillars that we use for our clients, along with other techniques. Um, it isn't life coaching. It, I'm not here to give you advice. I'm simply here to provide you tools to assist your mindset, tools to assist your well-being and tools to assist your inspired destiny. 
Um, so yeah, if any of that feels like something that could align with you, uh, please entertain the idea by going down below, clicking on my Instagram handle, sending me a DM, and we'll book you in for a free complimentary 20 minute discovery call where we will conduct an assessment and sort of just check in, see how you're doing, what you're looking for, and what we can work together to provide the things that you require. So until then, and next time, love, peace, and uh, take care.